If you have opened an American history book in the last century, guaranteed you have met the legend of Billy the Kid, have witnessed the signing of the Gadsden Purchase, and watched the development of a powerful nation. But the origins of such legends have a humble beginning in the tiny village of Messiah. Ninety percent of the people out coming out here to visit are very surprised at the fact that this was not the United States in the 1800s. We were part of Mexico. Mary Bird is a retired educator in Las Cruces whose family has lived in Mesilla for generations. She explains Mesilla was a much different place in the 1800s than now. We did not have all of the concrete, all of this was dirt. We did not have what we call the gazebo. This is where the actual ratification of the signing of the Gadsden Purchase took place. Everybody was going through hard times. There was a shortage of water. People had to grow crops. But the people who stayed here got along. They chose to stay here because they liked what the United States offered. Mary's great-grandfather was one of those people. However, he decided to return to Messiah for one reason alone. He ended up coming back and returning three years later for one reason only, and that was because he couldn't get enough water to grow his crops. And his father-in-law went into Mexico and told him, you have to come back to Messiah. Things are going to get better. You can work there. And he and his wife and my great-grandmother got in their little buckboard, put all of their belongings in it, and came back to return to Mesilla. Mary has a deep appreciation for the history of this small town, but one story stands above the rest. Her great-great-grandfather, Colonel Albert Fountain, tried the infamous Billy the Kid in the old Mesilla courthouse. Billy the Kid, legendary outlaw and hero of Western mythology, has had an important role to play in the current-day Mesilla Plaza. And yet, historians, like Mary, have some doubt as to the real Billy the Kid. In my opinion, and my research I've done, I don't believe Billy the Kid intentionally killed 21 people. I think that Billy the Kid was like most of the teenagers today. When you don't have any figurehead, they look for people where they can be accepted. Bad company. And these people just happen to be four and five years older than he, and they were far more experienced with a gun in the Western living than Billy the Kid was. Through Mary's research, she acquired the very jail doors that imprisoned Billy over a century ago. Her passion for separating truth from myth in his story revealed a boy with a promising future and a tragic ending. He was very bright. He was very well behaved. He also was interested in learning fantastic penmanship. I've seen his original writing and he had wonderful penmanship for in the fourth grade. He was a troubled youth and he got in severe trouble by running around with people much older than himself. The site of many Union Army fiestas, the signing of the Gadsden Purchase, the refuge of Billy the Kid and a rich kaleidoscope of the history of a developing nation, an embodiment of the conquering of the legendary West, the quaint Mesilla Plaza is the prime example of a traditional hometown with a spirit of the past. Every building on this plaza has a history of some type, and it dates way back to the time before we were ever a part of the United States. It is up to us as the descendants to retain and maintain the real history of Messiah.